Hello and welcome to another Quality of Life Tools add-on demo. Now this one is for the add-on Polypal, which is just the simplest way of making polygons just on the fly. It was designed to, well, help you just get started straight away, mainly because I don't like the concept of when you want to make just a simple polygon is having to add an object, maybe a mesh, whatever and then go into edit mode and then select another tool. There's one of a few, obviously. Blender is actually quite capable at polygon modeling. And then, you know, it's just the, the concept of making another object first and then having to go in and edit it with various different tools. This one is just bam, 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 making polygons straight on the fly. Mainly because I come from working with Maya for nearly 20 years, and even though I came over to Blender a few years ago, and I'm so happy about that, I um, did miss the Create Polygon tool. It's pretty much the only thing that I've missed to this date. So, well, yeah, I just decided to make an add-on to do it for us. How do we get started with it? Well, um, there's two ways, either with the hub. If you have hub installed, it's a free add-on, so just go ahead and, and grab it. And with that one, all you have to do is right swipe, and it's the, the first one there, straight on the right swipe. We do have another suite of tools, but we'll get into that in a minute. The other way, if you don't have hub, is uh, add mesh polypal draw. Okay, and again, just get started straight away. Yeah, how to use it? Well, once you've started it, it you'll go into something called modal mode, and so you, you, you can't navigate the viewport in, in any other way apart from just straight drawing of polygons. Indicated, you've got a HUD and, and a bit of help down here, so you can always see when you're actually in the uh, tool. Now, um, as you might have seen a couple of times, you, you can get crossovers, now, when that happens, it's actually a good thing. It indicates when you've got an illegal or a bad polygon. So, um, you know, it's, it's just right there for you to fix. It's just a matter of untangling it. To untangle or just move points, simply click and drag. Um, to go into um, filleting mode, beveling or chamfering, just middle mouse click um, or middle mouse drag. And it does that. C for chamfer, F to fill it. Um, scroll wheel up and down to change the uh, fidelity of it. And that's more or less all you need to know about that. Um, it's not intended to be a fully fledged editing tool, um, but you know it, it helps you block out shapes nice and quickly. You'll see uh, the blue edge is the leading edge, and that's always where the next split will, will start for adding new vertices. All right, or just move. You can click on another edge to make that the leading edge. So you're not stuck with the leading edge as you would have been in Maya. Um, you can also scroll wheel. And if you can see that, it's just scrolling around. I tell you what, let's put this into a different view mode. Maybe it's easier to see. Another poly. And let's just make a few, there you go. And scroll wheel, there you go. You can just see it moving around there. Now, just adding polygons freehand, uh, it can get a little finicky and, and it can get a little frustrating trying to, uh, you know, line things up. So we do have a grid snap mode. Uh, just hit X to grid snap and as you will see there, it's, it's snapping to the nearest grid points there. It's dynamic, so, you know, doesn't matter how far out you are or how close in you are, it will uh, choose the most appropriate grid snapping points for you, whether it's 0 0.1 or 100, all that sort of thing. It's, it's uh, pretty, pretty flexible like that. Um, bu -bu -bum. what else do we need to tell you? I think that's all we need to know for the, the basic um, creation of polygons. So let's get on to other things you can do with it. Now, um, in the standard version, all we really have extra is rectangle and circle. Silly little things it might seem like, but it's actually quite handy just to be able to plop out um, rectangles. <laughs> or in this case, in a minute, I will show you um, circles as well. Add mesh polypal circle, same thing, just pop, 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 pop. Um, seems like a silly little thing to boast about, but I <laughs> really rather uh, find it quite handy, actually. Um, oh, again with the circles, um, I tell you what, we'll just start it with a hub, as you can see. 
circles. Um, if you get really large, you can, with the scroll wheel, just change the fidelity of it. So you can have fine edged circles or scroll all the way down and you can have pentagons, triangles, squares, all that sort of thing. All right. And it rotates to follow the mouse so you can orient things. If you use hub as opposed to the inbuilt, we have a couple of extra tools for you. Um, as you see, rectangle, circle and edit. Now I'll get to edit first. If you are creating a uh, polygon of any form and later on you think, oh, bloody hell, I want to do edit that, you can with the, the HUD version, the hub version even, on the Pi menu. And that will do exactly as we did before. Um, as you see, we've got grid on here. Just turn off grid and yeah, just editing. That's if you use hub. Um, mainly because it's the only real way I can uh, initiate the operator. And that does have a couple of prerequisites. It has to be a legal polygon for it to be able to edit. When I say legal, I mean without holes or anything like that sort of thing. And talking of holes and that sort of thing, uh, we have another couple of tools. So if you have something that you really want that border outline, um, it, it's quite a tricky thing to do in Blender usually, but what we can do is weld silhouette. And as you see, it just welds them um, pretty, pretty efficiently, I think. Very, very pleased with that one. And ah, that's what I was looking for. Now, sometimes it will have an issue with it. Now, bear in mind, it is a very complex thing for it to be able to do. So occasionally we'll have issues. That's because probably the vertices are far too, too close to each other, whatever. It's, it's actually using a lot of internal blender tools, but um, all you have to do really is just move it around maybe a tiny little bit and try again. There you go, no problem there. Um, it's pretty robust, so give that a go. But what is even more robust is, and uh, let's try another one. Let's just do a circle here, like that. And what you can also do is cutting. And as you saw just there, one vertex, oh, one circle and a outline of your target, and cut project. And as you see, it uh, did exactly as you'd expect. Now, that, those two tools only work in orthographic view. You cannot get those to work. Oh, actually, I lie. Cut project will work in uh, any other camera mode. But uh, just to be absolutely sure, it's usually a good idea to be in an orthographic view for that to work. The cutting tool is incredibly robust. It, it has very little issues with anything. As, as I've really not noticed any problems with it so far. So um, you can even have illegal polys uh, resulting from it. That's usually not an issue. So let's, for example, say we want to cut a hole right in the middle of this thing here. Uh, maybe one on the edge. So you, you don't have to be edge intersecting for cut polygons to work. So select your cutters and your target and cut project. Pop. And as you see, it will do all the uh, necessary line creation and all that sort of thing. This is no longer a legal polygon for doing editing, as you see, because it's got a hole in it. These fine lines indicate internal edges, and again, that, that can be problematic. And that is usually what happens when you have um, a, something that, that's been built with the built-in tools. For example, let, let's just create a rectangle here and go into one of the built-in tools, the Edge Maker. And Edge Maker, Polygon, whatever it is tool. And that will cause a number of problems usually. And for example, let, let's just go back into edit mode and vertices and normal edit mode that is in, in Blender. And if you were to try and chamfer that edge, as you see, it tries to do all the other ones and gosh, that, that's a, a mess that, that you want to avoid if possible. Now, oh, sorry. Now that is a result of the internal edges here. So what we can do with these sort of polygons is the last of the tools, the Ngon Cleaner. And that makes sure that you have a legal boundary. As long as there are no holes, it'll do everything it can to clean it up. And with that, even with the built-in bevel, uh, we go there. As you see, that's the uh, standard blender bevel thing there. That works just fine. Or if you were going into edit mode of Polypal, Again, the same sort of thing, and chamfering, all that sort of thing, all good. 
and well, I think that is about it. Uh, can't really think of anything else you would want to know. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Oh yeah, just demonstrating the fact that it is actually pretty bloody robust for uh, doing cutters. So select everything else and make sure your target is your last object, the active object, and cutter, cut project, as you see. It really finely dices things, absolutely no problem. So, as you see, the, uh, the, the quickest tool I can imagine for just creating uh, polygon shapes, great for, you know, kit bashing, all that sort of thing. Uh, oh, one last thing I haven't mentioned is, let's say you're moving here, new edge there, and if you shift, you can also freehand. Okay, there we go. Nicely quick <laughs> polygon maker. Again, hope you like it. That's Polypal. Thank you again for now. Bye-bye.